Where did I go? So yeah, you probably noticed for the last three months I haven't uploaded a video. And that was intentional and for a very easy and simple reason. Burnout. Like all humans, I got burned out making YouTube videos, which shouldn't be that much of a surprise. I've been making YouTube videos now for, I've been making YouTube videos consistently for over four years now, which is longer than both my two children, which is amazing, sad. I kind of lost focus. Um, I wasn't really sure why I was making YouTube videos anymore. Uh, I was, I started making YouTube videos back four years ago because it was fun and I like to express myself. And I was making videos for myself. Yes, I wanted to get clicks and views, but still I think the ratio of for me versus for you was more, you know, 70, 75 for me, 25 for you. Then recently I started getting into kind of the uh, danger zone. Haha, <laughs> red gimmicks. Uh, I was starting to make YouTube videos more for YouTube and less for me. And that really means that I was trying to optimize for clicks, for views, for, you know, everything that people on YouTube usually say. And that's not that much fun anymore. It's really not fun when all you're trying to do is make sure that people click on your videos, when all you're focused on is thinking about the right topics and the right way to grab attention to make sure that your clicks translate to somebody else's clicks. And then I spent all my days clicking on the YouTube dashboard to see how many, how many hits I got and if it did better than my last video or worse than my last video. It's, it's, it's really overbearing. If you forgive the visual metaphor here. I was making videos to just be successful. Whoops. I was making videos just to be successful, not really to just make videos for, you know, my enjoyment, your enjoyment. And also, since moving out to the suburbs, my upload speed is horrible. I literally have to have my video start uploading when I go to sleep at like 11 p.m. and it takes until like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. to upload a three gigabyte file. Uh, broadband in the States is just a mess, which also makes that not fun having to wait, you know, all day to make sure that my videos get uploaded correctly. And honestly, one of the big reasons why I stopped and I took a break was I was just getting kind of demoralized that my channel wasn't really growing, which kind of feeds into the previous points. Uh, my, my channel's growing on average around 400 subscribers a month, which is fine, it's good. But the thing that I couldn't get past is that the growth of my growth, like every month I have 400 new subscribers, wasn't growing. Uh, I was just staying at a really consistent 400 new subscribers per month, which again, beggars shouldn't be choosers, but I also didn't know why. Uh, all the things I mentioned before was to try to change that number. Really everything I was doing that made everything not fun was to try to increase that 400 number to make it that my channel was growing faster. So even when I was trying to optimize for clickbait, optimize for getting more views, optimizing for virility, it was all in service of this 400 number. And nothing I did impacted it at all. So I needed a break. I started asking myself, why was I doing this? Was I doing this just to get myself anxious and depressed over a insignificant number altogether? Uh, did I want YouTube? When I first started out, I thought YouTube could be my full-time job one day if I got it to be big enough, but uh, that's a long road ahead at my current growth trajectory and not something that will ever happen. And honestly, I'm kind of glad I realized I don't want YouTube to be my full profession because feeling those impacts of the algorithm and the analytics on my own psyche, even so much smaller compared to other people on YouTube, uh, makes me fear for my life if that was my entire world. If I was fully dependent upon YouTube and things mostly out of my control for a living, that would have been um, very, very bad. So 
blessing in disguise, I suppose. And, and when I say it would take many years to reach parity with my full-time salary, we're talking I'd need at least 1 million subscribers easy before that would ever get close to my current salary at my job. So either YouTube doesn't pay well or my job pays very well. I think it's kind of both, frankly, but that's not on the table anymore. So that's why I took a break. I didn't really want to make a video when I took a break because I didn't know what I was doing next. I didn't know if I was just going to go away forever. And if I was, I was going to make a goodbye video because it's rude <laughs> just to leave you all hanging. I do enjoy everyone who actually does watch this channel. I love you all. Like you bring me a lot of joy and happiness. Uh, when I get fixated on the unknown future, that's when the sadness and depression creeps in, which is dumb. Can't control it. Let's not worry about it. It's not here. The present is a gift. Enjoy it, right? But that's why I just disappeared because I was trying to figure out what was next. Was it dead? Or was I just taking a break? It was just taking a break. And also kind of rethinking this channel to a more healthy degree. Uh, the once a week sequencing was slowly killing me, uh, both in terms of the time commitment it was taking up and also me being forced to push out content I didn't necessarily care about. When I knew a video that I was pushing out that week wasn't something necessary or something that I would do if I actually was given the time that I wanted. So what does that mean? I'm coming back and I will be publishing videos when I want to. <laughs> That's kind of really the big change. I'm gonna be back, I'm gonna be publishing videos as I think they are necessary, as I think they are good. Um, I probably have the rough goal of no less than once a month, but honestly, depending upon where my enthusiasm goes, it'll vary. I'm not gonna promise more or less. It's just going to be what makes sense to make me happy, healthy, and productive, to quote a favorite, a favorite band of my own. So I do apologize for just kind of disappearing, but it was just to make sure that I could be healthy and figure out what was best for myself. And if I'm not taking care of myself at the end of the day, nothing else is going to matter. So that's kind of why I did it for self-preservation. Uh, it also wasn't done in a vacuum. A lot of, I'd been talking about it, a lot of close friends for months on end, with one friend just telling me to shut up and do it already, Harry, take a break. So thank you, uh, you know who you are. And I did, I eventually did. I eventually just shut up and took a break, but I'm back. And uh, it's a new year. It's time to kind of, you know, do new things and shake things up a little bit. Hopefully you enjoy this different video just to kind of have more fun for myself, right? That's the goal. So hopefully you uh, enjoyed this ramble bamble, bamble bamble. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, that was painful. Uh, and actually, I do have one more video immediately planned after this video that I'm uh, very excited to uh, share with you. Uh, it's been a project that I've been working on in my free time. That's kind of what I did. I took the free time that I was pushing here and moved it somewhere else because there's only so much TV you can watch in a night without feeling horrible about producing nothing. But that announcement will have to wait till the next video. It'll be its own thing. I'm very excited about it. Very curious to hear how you all think about it. It's a little project I've been working on for a little over a year now, but stay tuned for that one. So yeah, happy new years. Thank you so much for watching. I'm glad to be back and I look forward to making more videos with you in the future in a happier and healthier way. Until then, stay happy, stay coded. See you around.